Hey Google, pause music. It's been a rough week. Um, what's up everybody? My name is Mona Lisa. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, the first two episodes, welcome back. I'm excited to be able to have you guys join in again on um, one of these vlogs. I'm having so much fun shooting them when I get the chance and opportunity. So it took a little bit of a break, but we are back and um, this weekend we have lots to plan. So tonight, it's Friday, obviously I'm literally closing my laptop right now because I cannot, like, no, I can uh, like quit everything so yeah closing up my laptop now i'm gonna take a little breather it's really giving just wanted to throw something on tech bay cute huh anyways the first thing i kind of want to do today to celebrate to kick off the weekend is um clean the house i do work from home it's just a lot easier that way i can enjoy my full weekend thoroughly instead of having to think about resetting on a Sunday. Um, so I try to do as much as I can, maybe like start a bit of laundry, but um, while doing that, I also want to do something really fun for myself because I work really hard this week. I'm gonna make some sushi tonight, like homemade sushi, so that'll be fun. Um, and that's what I'm going out to go get now is get a bit of groceries for the weekend. I've got a client call later tonight, so speaking of that, I'm coming out with a new workout plan, training program, and um, meal plan eventually coming soon. Like they're going to be published on a software, a software that's already created for trainers like me who want to put the training programs out there and meal plans but don't want to do the tech part and the business stuff. So it's called Trainerize. If any of you guys are also trainers out there and want to use it, Trainerize has been such an amazing ex and an amazing experience so far. They, this is, is not a sponsored um, video by them at all, but the experience from like the start to where I am now, it's been like a solid like three weeks with working with them. It's been phenomenal and super easy. I just feel like the app really um, works on the things that I lack. So. Tonight's gonna be fun, so some grocery shopping, making sushi, getting some errands down, uh, uh, getting some cleaning done in the house, and then um, talking to a client one-on-one. -on -one. That won't be too long, and then really um, relaxing. Come on along on the walk with me, and then we'll be right back home to do the rest. Okay, you guys, so I finished decluttering my house. I thought I had the whole weekend to basically do a bit more like cleaning if I really wanted to or pick like one or two areas to deep clean. Get neat and tidy and ready for like, you know, a functional fun weekend is nice. I'm about to have my one-on-one -on -one with a client. My sushi is brewing, um, the rice is cooking. So by the time I'm done my one-on-one, -on -one, I will be ready to put my sushi together. Aside from that, I'm trying to make sure that I stay as hydrated as possible um, the night before tonight so that when I wake up tomorrow and I'm ready for my workout, I wanna feel as good as possible, um, including being as hydrated as possible. Um, that way I'm a little bit more confident going into my workout and um, performing at the best of my abilities, so. <laughs>
Guys, honestly, this should just be my runner's corner. So I'm about to head out for my run. Just gonna see how I feel since I've been sick all week. Yesterday I went for like an easy run and it felt 50-50. I had to like stop sometimes and walk. Totally fine because it's one day at a time. I don't have to take it all at once. Uh, so it's 17 degrees outside. This is my Miami Lifetime um, half marathon t-shirt that I ran back in February, end of February. Here I am thinking like, oh my gosh, I haven't raced in like a year. Like, girl, I still got it. Side note, I ate half a banana um, before I started my run today because I did say that it will be long run vibes. And usually with long runs, you want to make sure that um, you carry gels um, to help you stay energized. But today I won't go any longer than eight to 10 kilometers. So um, half a banana was perfect for me. Stunning outside, by the way. I'm at like 3K, feeling pretty good. I thought I would catch my friend Sam. She goes out at 9.30 usually asks me to run with her and so I'm just so confused as to like who's she running with today I just want to know if she betrayed her running buddy or not basically sweating outside to do um, 9k which was exciting a win is a win so now I'm gonna go to the sauna really quickly then come back and get ready for um, girls day out <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. another thing too is I'm training to um, be a pacer at a race next month and for anyone that doesn't know what pacing is now that we're on this topic um when you run i don't know if i'm gonna like say it properly so i'm gonna use chat gpt and insert it in this video and you can see exactly what the definition of a pacer is it's giving retired life it's giving retired runner it's giving retired might come back but you have the option it's giving off season ready for girls day out one thing i want to bring up about running if ps if you're on this channel and you follow this channel i'm not pressuring anybody to run it's more so inspiring people to run so anyways bye start at a decent time thank goodness i think it's only nine o'clock what started off as a day of going to get flowers didn't get flowers probably gonna have some leftover sushi and just like chill for the rest of the night try to get to bed super early because tomorrow we've got another fun-filled day again another social day and it's gonna be with my run community which is gonna be fun tomorrow's the sporting life 10k which is great and i thought it would be a nice walk just up the street which i'll show you tomorrow but yeah i'm gonna close it off here must have had a ball last night hmm morning so today's sunday today i'm like a hundred percent a hundred a hundred percent like i can very much co-sign that 
Yesterday I was 100%, but I was like, I'm 100%, but like, it could still go down. We don't know. We do not know. Um, so picked leggings. I got dressed up really quickly. Um, picked some leggings, some socks, because it's only 11 degrees, so it's still chilly. And I'm going to wear a cap to protect my skin as well. There's the run mom look. cool so these are the professional runners they usually are allowed to only go first to kind of give them a fair chance to perform better so the craziest thing about the 10k dash is it's a dash it's not like a full marathon where you can kind of take your time so you're basically pumping gas the whole time oh so strong Oh, cheers! And I'm back. That was so much fun. I basically lost my voice. Um, so I don't know how long this vlog is going to be any longer. It was so much fun. I was not expecting cheer squad to be this much fun. But every time I go personally, maybe I bring the energy. And yeah, it's early. But like, oh, the energy is just absolutely everything, as you guys can see. If you guys haven't already followed me, follow me at... The run club president on instagram and coach mona for on tiktok and i love posting stories of my friends running and cheering and we just had such a good time um today i'm just gonna like finish up one or two things and like get personal things i want to get done and then spend the afternoon relaxing and we'll see from there good morning everybody my voice is a lot better than yesterday um i'm definitely in my green juice era it's monday um started off the week really strong it's pretty still early now and it's so bright outside i don't start work for like another hour and a half so i'm just gonna chill out stretch um listen to some podcast um before i even leave you um this morning i hope you guys enjoyed my weekend vlog i had such a good time it was so fulfilling it was really nice to, you know, give back to the community, especially with running. Um, when you race so much and you see how the community cheers you on and motivates you, it's nice to take that time and give back to the community. That was really, really nice. And then meeting up with the girls is always great. And really indulged with our tacos. We had some good drinks had some good chats, it was like therapy. The weekend was pretty therapeutic, but next time I think I'm gonna try to put a little bit more emphasis on my fitness and my health um, and nutrition, because that's something that I really wanna start focusing on. Spring's giving me this vibe of new challenges, like what can I do? maybe possibly sign up for another race but i have to go start my monday so tune in next time don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video